hi everybody welcome to another video as you know by the title in this video we are going to write a c program and also we will draw a flowchart to print all the factors of a number so what is what are the factors of a number so when a number is divisible by another number completely that means when there is no remainder left when we divide a certain number with another number then the number that is dividing the other number completely is the factor of that number so let's say for an example we have a number six so the factors of six would be one two and three because one two and three divides six completely that means there is no remainder left when we divide a six by one two or three so that means they are the factor of the number six so let us start by writing the code and flowchart of the this program so let me first tell you how we are going to apply this logic so let me first show you some rough work where we're going to decide how we are going to find a number so we have this number six let's say we have number six and what are the factors of the number six as i told you the factors of a number six are one two and three that means it lies in the first half of the number what is the half of the number six is three right half of the number is three and the factors lies in the first half of the number that is one two and three lies in the first half obviously right that means we need we need to run our loop till one two and three and when we have the number six till one two and three that means till half of the number right so we have to apply the logic likewise we have to run the loop till i less than equal to n by 2 where n is the number that the user will enter right we'll discuss it with another example let's say we have 8 so the factors of 8 are 1 2 and 4 that means 1 2 and 4 also lie in the first half of the number right so that's why the n by 2 logic works with factors okay for the six and the uh, for eight number and for every number the factor lies in the first half right so how we will write the loop the loop should be i less than equals to n by two so that's how uh, we are going to this is the condition for the loop so that's how we're going to write the loop okay so so that's what how we are going to use the loop as i told you so what we have to do in this code we have to first check if n is divisible by i if that will be completely divisible by i the loop then the answer should be zero right that means the remainder should be zero if we do n mod i and here in this code we have to print the factors of a number that means the number that will be divisible we just have to print that right so uh, let us start by drawing the flowchart for this code you'll get a better understanding of the logic and how we're going to apply it by the flowchart so let us start by drawing the flowchart here so first we write start then what we need to do we have to input a number from the user so for inputting a number uh, we write input n let us say n is holding the address of that number so n then we will write a loop so for loop we'll start from i is equals to one right two condition what condition we discussed i less than equals to n by two right as we discussed here so i less than equals to n by two and then uh, we have step one the uh the increment the updation will be by one that is i is equals to i plus one so step one and then we'll check if if n modulus i is equals to equals to zero or not that means if it is completely divisible by uh, that number or not if it will be completely divisible by that number the, that the i has right if it is completely divisible by that then we have to print that number so here we are checking if n modulus i is equals to equals to zero or not and if that condition is true then we just simply have to print the number right print the number i because i is the factor of n right and if it is false then what we have to do we'll connect it with the connector of the for loop 
so here i did uh, so we'll connect it with the connector of the for loop here so that arrow will come here like that and this is the connector of the for, for loop that we will connect with that round thing we have here so after this uh, this is the end of the code if the condition will be false then it will again go to check for another value of i so that's how the for loop works and that's how the if condition works then that's the end of the code after that we will stop so here uh, is the end we will stop and then let us first dry run this code how this code will work a simple dry run here let us take we have n is equals to 6 and what is the condition here i less than equals to n by 2 what is n by 2 3 right so that means when i is equals to 1 right we'll check for i is equals to 1 condition n modulus i equals to equals to 0 6 mod i will check if it is equals to equals to 0 or not the condition is true that means what we will print will get 1 as the output then again updation i is equals to i plus 1 so we have here 2 right then we'll check for the condition 2 if 6 mod 2 is equals to equals to 0 condition is true that means we will print 2 out the out 2 will be the output because 6 mod 2 is equals to 0 so then after updation the value of i will be 3 6 mod 3 equals to equals to 0 if the condition is true what will be the output the output will be 3 so we have here output 3 right then again updation i will be 4 now 4 less than or equals to 3 condition is false that means will come out of the loop and the code will stop so the output will be 1 2 and 3 for the value of n is equals to 6 that means the factor of 6 are 1 2 and 3 so let us start writing the code same logic we have to apply same thing just in the form of code so you can practice the code yourself once you get to know the flowchart and try run of the code you can try start writing the code on your own and you can pause the video and write the code on your own then you can again uh, play the video and check if your code is correct or not that we can practice and check how much you have learned about coding in c language so here uh, we write the code same way just we'll give the command to enter a number and then we'll scan that number by percentile d and address of n we will store the number that the user will input right then for loop the same for loop we discussed then the if condition and then if the if condition is true we'll print the number print the i right that's in the loop and if it is false then we'll return zero so here uh, this loop for loop will also come after the closing of the if loop so here is the for loop block here is the main function so this is how is the code i hope you guys understood this logic it is very simple very very easy just stay focused and listen to the video carefully you will understand every logic it's very simple uh, these codes are very simple so i hope you guys understood so this is the code that we've written for the factors of a number to print the factors of a number it's the same you can see so thank you so much for watching i hope these videos are helpful for you these videos that i'm posting on c language are helpful for you and are helping you in some way uh, in your university or school wherever you are learning the c language